every day 550 jobs get disappeared in India. And if the trend continues, 7 million jobs will disappear by 2015. Now you can see a decline in job creation chart which states in 2011 the diminishing factor to 2013 and from 2013 to 2015 the jobs have caused decline. As many as 550 jobs are lost in India every day. This is a data released by Labor Bureau Government of India. By 2050, jobs in India would have get reduced by 7 million while population will grow up by 600 million and this is the worrying factor that any government should realize. Major contributors to workforce are worse affected. They are agriculture and SME sector. Now agriculture contributes 50% of employment in India while the SME contributes 40% of jobs in India. The organized sector actually only contributes a minuscule less than 1% of employment in India. India has only about 30 million jobs in the organized sector and nearly 440 million in the organized sector and you can understand how far, how large it is much contributing to the Indian economy than the organized sector. According to a World Bank report, the percentage of employment in agriculture out of total employment in India has come down to 50% in 2013 from 60% in 1994. It is said that the labor intensity of small and medium enterprises is four times higher than that of the larger firms. Foreign investments. It is further said that the multinationals are particularly capitalist. That is, that lot of multinational investments are coming in India. But these multinational companies are interested only in investing in plant and machineries. Rather, they are not interested in investing in an industry where labor capacity can be utilized and India has a huge resource of unutilized labor and it is a worrying factor. However, what went unnoticed is that this foreign investment would only translate into creation of 6 million jobs only, whereas we have a huge potential of unutilized labor. And what worries most from where these jobs are going to come? India needs to go back to the basics and protect sectors like farming, organized retail, micro and small enterprises, which contribute to 99% of current livelihoods in the country. These sectors need support from the government and not regulation. India needs smart villages and not smart cities in the 21st century. So, say yes to smart villages and not to smart cities. Thank you.